Uh, who's been told it's super dangerous in Mexico? Do not go, it's not a good idea. We were. Hey guys, my name is Shayla and I make these videos every Wednesday. I've been traveling full time since 2015 and I make these videos every Wednesday to inspire you and encourage you to create the life that you want. If this is your first time here, hi, welcome, thank you for watching. You're probably on your way to Mexico and you're trying to learn some things, so I'm gonna help you out with that. If you like traveling, if you like making goals, if you like just positive vibes, please some blah, blah, blah. please consider subscribing. I've had way too much caffeine already, so here we go. You can also find me on Instagram, Living on a One Way, and I post stories all the time, a little bit in between these Wednesday videos. So if you're watching this video, you're probably on your way to Mexico for the first time, and I want to tell you all the things that I learned, because we were just there, we were in Playa del Carmen last week. There's going to be three videos like this. There's going to be one about safety in Mexico, one about like kind of overall things, and then one about, oh, a day trip to Cosmo, and kind of how you can save some money on that. This week, we're going to talk about general things that you need to know. So I'm going to start with, before you even leave on your trip, what are things that you need to do? Thing number one, you need pesos. The airport is literally the worst place to get pesos. So what I would recommend is going to your local bank and telling them that you need pesos. You have to go a little bit ahead of time so they have time to get you the currency. Why do you need to get pesos before you even leave on your trip? Tipping everyone all the time is a thing. You're tipping at restaurant, housekeeper, taxi, everyone. The second thing that I think you should do also related to pesos is figuring out the conversion. So figuring out how many pesos to US dollars. This will fluctuate every day. It will fluctuate depending on which restaurant you go to. But currently it's about 1 to 20-ish. It's technically 18, but everyone rounds to 20. I'm just so excited to tell you all this stuff. Download Google Maps on your iPhone. Actually, I'll walk, I'll talk you through. Go into your Google Maps. Then you're going to click on those three bars in the top left corner. And you're going to press offline maps. Then you'll say custom map. That will load, and you're gonna wanna zoom out as far as you can just to get the biggest area that you can. Where's Mexico? But this should cover Cancun all the way down to Tulum. More than what you need. Just download that. This way, if you're in Mexico and you don't wanna use data, you can easily find everything that you need to do. It works perfectly offline. I do this every time I travel. I do this on road trips to the US. It's awesome. The next thing that I recommend is an electronic converter. If you're from the US and you use, I don't even know what they're called, the kind of plugins that we use, it also works in Mexico just fine. But if you're from anywhere else, you wanna make sure that you get that electronic converter. Travel insurance is something that you should consider. If you guys are doing ATVs, if you're gonna go out in the ocean, you wanna make sure that you are covered. The site that I've used before is World Nomads. You say where you're from, where you're going, how long you're going to be there and it gives you a flat rate. Some people say if you can't afford travel insurance, you can't afford travel. I've done it sometimes with, sometimes without, at your discretion. Water, everybody is freaking out about the water. Don't drink the water, don't do this, don't do that. One trick that I learned that is super helpful is that the ice cubes with the hole through the middle are purified, so you don't have to worry about that. You don't really have to worry about brushing your teeth if you're in a hotel that should be purified. Some people get worried about like their vegetables being washed in the water, so if you want, stick with things with peels like bananas and avocados and oranges. Most people that get sick in Mexico is because they've had too much sun or too much hot cold, so that's not as much as a concern from what I understand anymore. We didn't get sick. Uh, we both got a little diarrhea, like briefly, but I think it was, I really think it was due to the sun. Woo, that's a lot of information, and I'm zipping through. I hope this is helpful so far. What you need to bring. You wanna bring hand sanitizer, and you wanna bring toilet paper. A little toilet paper is like what your grandma might have in her purse. That's great. Why do you need this? Because sometimes you'll go into a bathroom. If there's like a toilet paper roll, when you're waiting in line, grab toilet paper because that means that it's not in the stall. So it's nice to have your own so you don't have to worry about that. Also, the piping is different there, so you have to take the toilet paper and put it in the trash can, not down the toilet. And then hand sanitizer is just great if you need to clean your hands. I also think it's handy when I do the last minute bathroom stop before I get on the airplane. Quick run to the bathroom and then run out and everyone in the bathroom's like, ew! I'm trying to pull my hand sanitizer out while I'm still in the bathroom so everyone knows that I'm getting my hand sanitized. Charger. Charger? Oh, I would recommend Goal Zero. Do I have mine? Shoot, I don't have mine. I will put the link below, but it's basically a battery charger that you can just stick in your backpack, charge your camera, it will charge your phone, it will charge all the things that you need on the airplane or if you're doing a day trip. I love it. I love the thing. I recommend it in a lot of my videos. Skyrim. This I do have. You are going to want service. 
Some US plans are good in Mexico, so check with your carrier. Otherwise, there is something called Sky Roam. This is so much more than just being able to post Instagram. It looks like this. This is a pocket Wi-Fi, and pocket Wi-Fi's are handy for multiple reasons. For me, it's about safety, and that's what I say in all of my videos. If anything were to happen, I wanted to make sure that I was able to contact set, contact home. What do I tip the waitress? What do I tip the cab? Currency conversion. You obviously need some swimsuits, and on my Instagram, I asked a lot of you, what's a swimsuit that I need? Cup sheet had extremely affordable prices. It was like, 20 to 30 dollars. One of my suits got the stitching got a little bit messed up, but it was when I had diarrhea and had to yank it to the side real quick. Too much information, maybe. I'll link all my swimsuits and I'll show you some of them in the clips. Ooh, 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 ooh. So let me tell you two things about the airport. You're gonna go through customs, you're gonna get your bag, and then you're gonna end up at a spot where you press a button. And the button's either gonna give you a green light go or a red light, put your stuff through an extra security. It's not that big of a deal, it just takes a little extra time. Second thing, when you get out to the taxis, people will start grabbing your bags to bring you to their taxi. So keep your stuff close. If you have a car or a hotel and somebody guides you to your vehicle, you wanna tip them a dollar or two. And you do that because when you're with them, no one else bothers you. If you're taking the bus, it's going to happen. People are gonna ask you if you need a ride, just say no gracias and you're good to go. So let's talk about transportation. I can tell you the rates from Playa del Carmen to the airport. I can't tell you any other rates, but it'll give you a good gauge for what to know. We are on our way to the airport and there are a few ways to get there. You can take the shuttle from your hotel, you can take a taxi, you can take a bus, or you can take a colectivo. I'll tell you about how much each of those are. So this is what I know. You can get a private shuttle. We're a group of like six or more. This is probably the most effective way. It keeps you all together, it picks you up, and drops you off exactly where you need to go. I don't know the prices for that. Our hotel, which was in Playa del Carmen, going to the airport cost us $60 total. You can get a taxi. I read we're about $45. In the morning, somebody offered us $15 a person. Also not bad. We took the bus, and the bus was super simple as well. And the bus is called ADO, ADO. It will take you to Playa del Carmen, it'll take you to the airport, it'll take you all over the place, and it's very comfortable and very easy and cheap. The last option is called a colectivo, which just means a collective van. That will cost you 45 pesos, which is like two or three dollars a person. They also make stops along the way, so it'll take you a little bit longer. So those are kind of your options. Totally up to you and what kind of experience you want to get. A few of you asked me what words do you need to know when you're in Mexico. So hello, goodbye is hola and adios. Nice to meet you is mucho gusto. Good is bien. Something you might hear is como esta. That means how are you and you can say bien. And thank you. That's a really good one to know. Gracias. Those are the ones I would say to know. And if you know extras, Amazing. What else? Oh, buying scams. Someone told me that they look up the local scams before they go somewhere. I think that's genius. The things that I looked up and read about before I went and then what I saw when I was there, spot on. When you're buying something, they're gonna offer you the highest price first. Let's say I wanted to buy this water bottle and they said $20. If you feel comfortable paying $20 for this water bottle, just buy it. If you are like, uh, I think I would pay $10 for that water bottle. You'd probably go to 15, you just kind of barter back and forth. Don't be an asshole. You go, they'll give you the top prices, and then they'll say, oh, where are you from? Say Minnesota, they will know somebody from Minnesota. Oh, my friend over here is from Minnesota. They're finding common ground. Smart. There will be signs everywhere that say 50% off opening sale, 50% off closing sale. Those are there year round. And then where to stay. Cancun is at the top. Tulum is at the bottom. Playa del Carmen is in the middle. For me, Playa del Carmen was very touristy. I wasn't a super fan of it, honestly. But what I did like about it was that it was central to everything. So if we wanted to go up to Cancun and then go to Isla Mujeres, we could. Take the ferry across to Cos Cozumel, we could. It's an hour away from like everything. I wish that we had stayed a little bit south in Tulum. It's just like kind of a hippie, beachy, chill, spot and I would I would do Airbnb and I have an Airbnb link below. Honestly, we waited too long and by the time we were looking, it was really expensive stuff or like literally camping on the beach for $60 a night. I will be working on my next videos about the day trip to Cozumel and to how to stay safe in Mexico. If this video is helpful for you, please like it. Please share it with anyone you know going to Mexico. And if you're interested, follow me on Instagram. On my Instagram stories, it's living on a one way. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye. Seth, what just happened?
Well, we just found out that the car rental place has no cars. No cars. <laughs> We're all signed up for our trip. Oh, look at how handsome you look. Okay. We're all signed up for our trip to Cozumel. <laughs> what are you doing, Seth? <laughs> it's a crepe. <laughs> Looks good. It does look good. It's like a waffle crepe. <laughs>